Hello everyone and welcome to the new Twisted Wonderland event on the Japanese server. The special Mage Assault Practice event featuring our very own Head Mage, Crawly! So this is a brand new event on Twisted Wonderland JP right now available until March 1st. And as you can see, it has a different format from all the other previous events that we have seen so far. So you might be wondering, how does this event work? Well, we're going to be covering that right now. So you may have noticed that each map does have a battle map, with the first one being the Hartsville Build Norm with battle map level 1. So when you're ready to start your adventure, select the battle map, and you will be prompted to select characters. If you have played Book 6, this is kind of a similar format where you select the characters and then you can use the cards of that selected character. So in this case, I have these characters in my lineup so I can use any of the cards for these fall. Characters like Leona can use any of the Leona cards I have, Deuce cards, any of the Deuce cards that I have. So when you click OK, you'll be prompted with this warning. The warning does tell you the map clear conditions, which is to reach the goal. There are also some other precautions that you should be aware of. You cannot change any of your characters once you begin progressing in the map. This means that you do have to stick to cards of the chosen characters that you put in when you first entered the map. Final note is that if you do choose to reset the map in order to change characters because you want to use different team comps, the map will reset and you will have to start over from level one. If you're okay with your choices of characters and all your selections, just hit okay to go into the map. All right, once you're in the map, you're gonna see this screen. So you see a bunch of spaces we can go. Grim is the starting point. And then at the end, we have the goal, which is Crawly. So first things first, First, you will notice at the bottom right hand corner, there is a bar, which I'm just going to call the event stamina bar, and it does have 10 out of 10. This indicates how many spaces you can move. You can think of it like the lesson point bar in which when you do one lesson, it consumes one point. So then when you move one space forward, you will have to complete a battle. Just like when you complete lessons and you have to wait for your lesson points to recharge, the event stamina bar will also recharge. However, the only difference is in order to recover one stamina point for the event, it requires one hour for one point to be recovered. So if you use all 10 points at once, it requires 10 hours for you to completely recharge your stamina without having to use any items or paying gems. If you're looking to finish the event quickly, then you can pay magic gems to refresh your stamina bar and it costs 10 gems to recover 10 stamina points for the event. All right, so other important mechanics of this event to note. So if you select the first icon on the left side, which is the cards right above the heart icon, you can see all of the available cards that you have to use in battles from the characters you picked. And another thing you might notice is that all the cards have HP bars. This means that when cards take damage in battle, their overall HP will go down in this card menu. And when their HP depletes to zero, you can no longer use that card in battle. This means for strategies, you can either do two things. You can either go with high HP cards with sustain, such as HP healing moves so that you can last longer in battle, or you can go with high firepower to try to defeat the enemy as quick as possible so that you don't lose any HP. Another thing to note is if you are fighting a boss battle with lots of HP and happen to lose, the HP that you deplete from the boss will actually carry over into your second retry. So if you're challenging a hard boss again, you lose and then you fight it again, you will notice that the max HP of your second fight will be less than your first fight. The second icon we can talk about is the heart icon, which is right under the card icon on the left hand menu. So this icon lets you use your retry tickets. For this event, if you use a retry ticket, five cards that you are playing with, the retry ticket will restore their HP completely. The next icon, the magic pen icon, will just show you what buffs you have collected for this map. There are a variety of spaces, as you may have noticed, and there are buff spaces that you can get a buff when you land on that space, and you can also get a buff when you defeat target enemies. And finally, the treasure icon, the last one, shows you all the obtainable goodies for the map. In this case, for map one, we can see these items that you can get, including the move ticket. The move ticket is an item that lets you recover your stamina points for the event. It has a similar effects 
to the lesson point restoring items, except it is for the event. So if you want to move more spaces and do more maps, you can use the move ticket to quickly recover your stamina. And one final tip to note for this event is make sure that you do make use of the healing spaces, the spaces with the heart. When you land on them, it will heal five random cards half of its max HP, which is good if your cards are running out of HP, especially on the later maps where it gets much harder. All right, so that is the Mage Assault Practice with Crawly event in a nutshell and how to go about completing it. So and now let's talk about the next exciting thing. Crawly has his own SSR. This is the Raven Jacket SSR Crawly card, the brand new release of this card with this event. We finally get to see the Head Mages card. I never thought he would actually get to join our roster. Does that mean potentially we could have other cards for the other teachers? Like Train or Cruel or even Vargas? Hmm? But let's not talk about them right now since Crawly is the only one released right now. Crawly is a balance type card and all of his magic is neutral. If you do happen to unlock his magic three, his magic three does have a healing skill on it. Crawly's duo magic is actually with Grim. Yeah, so for all the Grim and Crawly fans out there, we get some Grim and Crawly duo magic action with the latest Crawly card. Crawley's banner will be available until March 1st, so those of you who are looking to maybe invest in the Knife Raven College head mage himself, the man of the hour, Crawley, you have until then. So that is going to be it for the Mage Assault practice featuring Crawley, as well as Crawley's new SSR card. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!